Determine TB lamb antigen test. The determine TB lamb antigen test is an amino assay that detects the presence of lipoalbuminopenem antigen of mycobacteria in human urine. The test can be used to aid the diagnosis of active mycobacterial infection in HIV positive individuals. Urine is an ideal sample for several reasons. It is readily available. It does not produce hazardous aerosols and it poses a lower biohazard and infection risk. Urine is also a convenient sample that can detect pulmonary and extrapulmonary TB disease, although it cannot specifically determine the site. Please consult your local guidelines for the appropriate CD4 threshold for conducting a TB lamb test. The following materials are contained in the TB lamb testing kit. 25 TB lamb antigen test tests as five cards each holding five test strips, one TB lamb antigen reference card, one determined TB lamb antigen instructions for use. In addition to these, the following materials are required but are not provided in the kit. Timer, gloves, blotting paper, 60 microliter pipetta and 60 microliter tips. Disposable pipettes of similar volumes can replace these. Pen and sharp permanent marker, biohazard disposable bag. The determined TB lamb antigen test cards have specific storage requirements to maintain quality and reliability. These must be stored between 2 and 30 degrees Celsius until the expiry date. Do not use the kit components beyond their expiry date. Immediately reseal all unused tests in the foil pouch containing the desiccant by pressing seal from end to end to close. Do not use tests that have become wet or if the packaging has become damaged. During specimen collection and handling while running the test, make sure to treat all urine specimens and materials contaminated with urine as potentially infectious and follow basic universal precautions. Wear gloves when handling the specimens and test kit materials and do not pipette by mouth. Before starting the testing process, you should first collect midstream urine in a fresh, sterile, standard urine collection container. A first morning void specimen is preferred. The urine samples must be used for testing within eight hours if kept at room temperature. If there will be a delay in running the test, the sample may be used within three days of collection if it is stored at between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. Prepare the test by removing one strip from the five test card by bending and tearing at the perforation. Start removing the test units from the right side of the test card to preserve the lot number which appears on the test card's left side. Peel off the protective foil cover from the test and set it aside. Note that once the protective foil has been removed, the assay should be initiated within two hours. Using the already calibrated pipette, apply 60 microliters of the sample, or two drops of urine, to the sample pad a white pad marked by the arrow symbol. After that, set a timer and wait a minimum of 25 minutes to read the result. After 25 minutes of incubation, your results are ready to be interpreted. To read the result, visualize the strip under standard indoor lighting conditions or in the shade. Do not visualize the strip under direct sunlight. Results are stable for up to 35 minutes after sample application. Do not read beyond 35 minutes. Use the reference scale card provided in the kit to assist with results reading and interpretation by holding it alongside the patient window.
The appearance of one purple or gray bar in the control window of the strip, labeled control, and no purple or gray bar in the patient window of the strip, labeled patient, indicates the TB-LAM result is negative. The appearance of two purple or gray bars in both the control window, labeled control, and the patient window, labeled patient, of the strip, indicates the TB-LAM result is positive. Note, the test result is positive even if the patient bar appears lighter or darker than the control bar. If there's no purple or gray bar in the strip's control window, even if a purple or gray bar appears in the strip's patient window, the result is invalid and the test should be repeated. If one purple or gray bar appears in the strip's control window, labeled control, with an unclear or incomplete purple or gray bar in the strip's patient window, labeled patient, the TB-LAM result is indeterminate. For a better clinical decision, the test should be repeated. Alternatively, collect a new urine sample in the following days from the patient and test. Early morning urine is recommended. Today, we have demonstrated how to test for TB using the urine TB lung test. This is a test for the diagnosis of active mycobacterium infection in HIV positive individuals. The test is recommended for patients with advanced HIV, provides a result in just minutes, and allows healthcare workers to make ruling decisions, enabling earlier treatment for patients. Finally, remember to consult your local guidelines for the appropriate CD4 threshold for conducting a TB lung test.